Christine is, is our middle name, we like to think. The Eastern Shore is untainted territory. Uh, we have no industrial tarnish east or west. Food safety issues in China are considerable. So our Canadian brand, which is, is pristine at its real core, uh, I believe it's, it's, it's an ideal time for not just a terrific product, but a safe food traceable product to go on their markets. The Chinese know all about fish farming. They invented it 5,500 years ago, and they don't want it anywhere near the $100 Canadian lobster they're having for dinner. Small wonder because a net jam-packed with salmon is a perfect target for parasites and disease, net pen operators have to treat the fish with antibiotics to prevent diseases and dose them with poisons to rid them of sea lice. But the sea lice have become resistant and lice-infected salmon have been found on the shelves of supermarkets. Meanwhile, outbreaks of viruses like infectious salmon anemia have plagued salmon feedlots all over Atlantic Canada, which means the fish have to be killed. But because diseased salmon has not been shown to be harmful to human health, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency also allows the infected salmon to be sold to the public unmarked. Oh, one other thing. Farm salmon isn't naturally pink. It's off-white. It looks like tofu. That's because farm salmon don't eat the same diet that wild salmon eat. But in the supermarket, the farm stuff is actually salmon colored. That's because it's dyed. Oh no, says an industry spokeswoman, carotenoids, a natural ingredient found in carrots and egg yolks, are added to the diet of salmon to provide them with vitamin A, which in turn gives them their pink color. So the pink color is just a happy accident. Consumers would love farm salmon just as much if it looked like window putty. Sure they would. See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.